In our latest update for MPC 2.11, we've added even more features and enhancements, making MPC the most powerful standalone platform. We've now added a new sounds mode, bringing you the ultimate browsing experience. Quickly browse your MPC instruments, presets and drums and expansions to key group and favorites, all displayed with stunning graphics. We've added new plugin effects, features and presets so you can add flavor and drive to your productions, giving you even more modern tools for that vintage and lo-fi sound. You now have Probability and Ratchet directly inside MPC Sequencer for fast and creative music making. You can now arrange your own custom shortcuts, speeding up your workflow even more with a simple touch. You can now send any sample directly to a key group to expand your melodies across the keys. You can now tune everything from vintage synths, modular racks to guitar and basses with a built-in tuner. Create velocity and key ranges with MIDI filtering for multi-layered and powerful sound design. So let's take a deeper look at the incredible features inside 2.11 for MPC. Now to access the brand new sounds mode, go to the main menu and press the sounds tab. You can also access sounds by using the shortcut menu. And we can now visually see all of our MPC instruments available. To access an instrument, press on the tab, and now we are browsing our presets. We can jump back, select a new instrument, and now we can search by categories. We go into our category, and now we can simply select a preset. This is then loaded straight onto our pads. Now once you find the sound that you're looking for, we can save this as a favorite. So we go to our favorites tab, hold down on the empty container, and it's now stored. To remove this, simply hold on the screen and we can clear. Now, if we press edit instrument, we can now go into the synth and we can start tweaking our sound and customize the preset to our own liking. Now to select a different plugin instrument, simply use the shortcut, go back to the sounds menu, and now you can select any of the instruments available. Now to locate your current preset, press the locate preset sound and this will take you straight to the patch. Now we can also navigate back to sounds by pressing our top left tab. Now if we press instruments, we can now go into our drum programs and access our factory expansions and our user expansions with stunning graphics. Now to load up a drum kit from an expansion, press on the pack and now you will see all of the drum kits inside. Simply press a kit and it's now instantly loaded onto the pads. We can also set up custom directory locations by holding down an empty container and then adding the folder location. This is perfect for your own custom drum kits and programs. Once selected, this is added to our browser. Now we can also access key groups, clips, MIDI and CV programs. If you press key range, we can now set up individual key ranges by touching the screen for each individual sound so we can use this for multi-layering, for sound design or for performance. Simply touch the screen and move the key range wherever you desire. Pressing drum split will automatically set a range for your drum program. We can also create brand new tracks directly inside this window. We've also added a set list tab, which is perfect for live and finger drumming performances so you can quickly load projects. Simply press on the tab and it will instantly load into your MPC. Once you've created a live project, hold down an empty container, find the location of your project, press select, and it will now be added to your set list. In 2.11, we've added two brand new plugin effects and updated a number of existing effects, giving your MPC even more tools, adding flavor and style to your samples and productions in standalone and desktop. The first plugin is Flavor. This allows you to distort, transform your tracks and samples and instruments into lo-fi heaven inside one single plugin. We can add vinyl noise, flutter, distortion, and select from different EQ simulations, gramophone, headphones, radio, to boomboxes. Flavor includes a whole collection of professional presets to get you up and running to flip your beats. Now let's add half speed with flavor to step our melodic even further. 
The next plugin effect is Amp Sim. This adds amp effects to your productions, giving you crunch, drive instantly, perfect for guitars, bass, or to flip your samples. With 11 different cab models with stunning interfaces, add drive, soft clipping, high frequency boost, and EQ for that perfect distortion. Now let's turn the effect off and back in. Now let's add half speed and flavor. Now let's use Amp Sim on this guitar sample loop. Now we're changing the tonality instantly, grunging up the loop, making it feel really modern. Let's add more drive. Now let's add granulator with some of the new parameters that we've added. Grain shape, skew, reverse. Taking us to a whole new dimension. These types of effects will keep you inspired, creative, whenever inspiration strikes. The Air Vocal Tuner now has a whole suite of factory presets to choose from for that modern day sound. Air Reverb also has an expanded range of new presets to choose from. Now add flavor to our vocals and then amp sim. Now you can hear the distortion from amp sim. We can also create our own presets inside each plugin effect, or we can save our entire effects rack as a preset so we can recall this on any track, instantly giving us the same set of effects. We've also updated rack effects, now including Air Flavor and Air Amp Sim for you to choose from. You can now add probability to any note inside the MPC sequencer, which is perfect for electronic music production, driving hardware, synthesizers, and modular. Now to add probability, use the pencil tool to dial in a percentage of if the note will be played or not. At 100%, the note will always be played. Now let's add probability to this bass sequence, which we're driving from our external hardware. As we dial in our percentage, it's randomizing our pattern. Let's add some real-time control from MPC. And now, let's add some drums, which are coming from drum synth. And now, let's record a hi-hat pattern, and then add probability. Now I'm adding 16th notes, so you really see how easy probability is and how it can create rhythm. Now we've selected all of our notes, add probability, and we'll drop the whole pattern down to about 50%. And already it's created more rhythm. Let's do the same with our claps. Straight 16th notes, and then add probability. some real-time control. Now we can also add probability using the step sequencer. Simply draw in the percentage amount and this will be applied to your track. As you can see, this takes live performances in MPC to a whole new level. You can now instantly create roll effects inside the drum editor in MPC using Note Ratchet. 
Let's expand our view. Let's select Ratchet. Now we'll take our magnifying glass and we'll select our notes with our pencil tool. And now let's draw in the subdivisions on each note. As you can hear, we are creating rolls instantly with time divisions. If we use the edit end, we can expand the note's length. Then select our pencil tool and add the ratchet value for instant rolls. Adding ratchet to the drum grid really makes editing drums a breeze. Now we can also use the ratchet mode inside the step sequencer. Select your note and add the ratchet value. You can now take any sample within a drum program and easily convert into a key group program so it can be played across a key bed or across the pads. Simply select the pad, go to program edit and press the keyboard tab. This now converts the sample into a key group. Once you've found your baseline, Hit record. This is a fast and intuitive way to take any single sample and turn it into a preset sound to make melodies. Now let's go to our drum grid and now we can see all the notes that we played directly from our keyboard. Now let's add some half speed. We can also use pad performance mode once we've converted our sound to a key group to take advantage of scales and chords directly on the pads. This means that we can select the key of our song and never play a wrong note. Pad to key group really pushes the boundaries of how you can use single samples and one shots to create dynamic melodies using pad performance mode. In 2.11, you can now customize the mode menu so you can find the perfect layout to speed up your workflow. Press enter and move the mode around. As an example, we'll take sounds and I'll move this to the top and this will correspond with pad 13 and then we'll take program edit and this will correspond with pad 9. Come out of edit, hold menu and hit the pad and now we have our shortcuts customized to our own workflow. Now in 2.11, we also added this new shortcuts bar just by dragging to the right. Now we can also customize this layout by going back into menu, press edit and now select and move the mode to our far left column. Now when we open up our shortcut tab, you will now see sounds mode located at the bottom. We've also added new, save, project and preferences to the browser so it's easily obtainable so you can quickly save and load your work. Now if you select the pencil tool under program edit where you'll now find pad colors which has been moved to this destination. Now, if you love retro synths, modular racks, well, we've added a built-in tuner to MPC, which you can access via the menu mode. This allows you to now tune your vintage synths, guitars, to basses with ease. You can just simply plug your instrument into the MPC input, and each note played will be displayed on the tuner. In 2.11, we've added the latest Ableton Link update, which allows you to start and stop synchronization with the transport control. Now to activate this, go to your preferences, go down to MIDI and sync, and enable start and stop sync. 
we can now press any of our NPCs and both devices will start. NPC Live 2 features onboard Wi-Fi, which means that we can connect to devices such as Ableton Link remotely for the perfect live performance on any stage. In 2.11, we've added MIDI filtering, key and velocity range, so we can customize and set up different types of MIDI filtering per track for sound design, multi-keyboard splits, and layered performance patches, perfect for live and studio production. As an example, on track one, I have a brass sound. Now if I hit learn, I can set the high range of where I want my sound to stop. So this is now stopping at C2. Now if I hit learn again, I can expand the range up to C4. Now we can do this across any of our instrument tracks. Now we can go one step further by pressing filter. This means that we can take any of these parameters and filter them out per track. So I can do my key, velocity range and MIDI CC filters. So I could turn off everything from sustain, portamento to modulation on each track. Now as an example, this is two sounds together, a brass and a pad. I'm going to turn off the sustain on the brass. Now as you can hear, the pad is sustained, but the brass is not playing any sustain. Now let's go to our second track, which is our pad, and we're going to select modulation, which is only going to affect this particular track. Now, as you can hear, it's only affecting the pad and not the brass. This really takes sound design to a new level in MPC when you start merging instruments together. Now, let's play this sound over a beat. On MPC Desktop, we've now updated all of the MPC interfaces for each of the instruments with a brand new stunning look. And we are now M1 compatible. We've also added many enhancements and improvements in 2.11. You now have a dedicated bank for drums and melodic programs when switching between tracks. In pad performance mode, the Off tab has now been changed to Custom, which now supports user-created pad note maps. You can now access 16 levels within a melodic program, giving you the options for Velocity, Probability and Ratchet. To learn more about 2.11, head over to the Akai Pro website and see all of the features, improvements and enhancements for your MPC. Thanks for watching.